The text for our message is from our gospel account in John chapter 19, focusing on verses 28 through 30. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A jar full of sour wine stood there, so they put a sponge full of the sour wine on a hyssop branch and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished, and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. It is finished. Those may be the most famous words in the Bible. They are certainly the most important words and the most important words ever spoken by Jesus. Jesus spoke those words just before he died for the sins of the world. Jesus referred to what he was doing as it. Has anyone ever asked you, How's it going? Our typical response to that question is, good or fine. The person who asks us how it's going usually are just being polite, and we're also just being polite by saying good, because chances are not everything is good, and there's always something that we could talk about. But when someone does ask you, how's it going, what is the it that they're referring to? Obviously, they're referring to life. Wow. It. Such a little word for such a big thing. How do you shrink down something as big as life into such a small word like it? Because it includes a lot of things. It includes your job. It includes your marriage. It includes your family. It includes your health. It includes your loneliness or your difficulties. It includes your finances and your worries. It includes your hectic schedule and your boredom. It includes your self-esteem. It includes your heartaches. It includes your heartbreaks. That's the it of life. And we almost always say, fine, when someone asks us, how's it going? On the cross, Jesus used the word it to refer to something bigger than our lives. Jesus said, it is finished. What was finished? How much stuff was being crammed into such a little word like it when Jesus said, it is finished. At first consideration, we might think that Jesus was referring to what had just happened to him. And even that's what, even if that was what Jesus was referring to, the word it would still seem very small. But the it that Jesus is referring to is much bigger than just his crucifixion. It is began before the creation of the world. The Bible says the lamb who was slain before the foundation of the world. In other words, it was God's plan before he ever said, let there be light. It has always been God's plan. In fact, it was the reason that Jesus was born. Jesus said, for the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. No doubt, it was on Jesus' mind for most of his life. It was certainly on his mind during the last three years of his life. Do we ever think about all the things that it included for Jesus? Here are several things that it included when Jesus said, it is finished. When Jesus said, it is finished, it included the fact that he left heaven, choosing to set aside his glory, to set aside his position at the right hand of the Father. And he did that so that he could come and live as a true human being, a true man, and be our substitute 
The Bible says, who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness. When Jesus said, it is finished, it included becoming part of his own creation. This began in his mother's womb when he was first a zygote and then an embryo and then a fetus and an infant, eventually a child and a teenager and then a man. He ate and he drank and he slept and he breathed and he bled. And the angel told Mary, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. It included beginning life as a refugee with his parents. The angel told Joseph, rise and take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. When Jesus said, it is finished, it included living a completely sinless life, even though he was tempted in every way just as we are. Jesus never sinned once, never a single sinful thought or a word or deed. The Bible says in every respect he was tempted as we are and yet was without sin. When Jesus said it is finished, it included being hated and rejected by the religious leaders who were accusing him, him of blasphemy. The Bible says so from that day on they made plans to put him to death. It included being flogged and beaten and humiliated. The Bible says, then Pilate took him and flogged him. And the soldiers placed that crown of thorns onto his head to inflict pain and to ridicule him. When Jesus said, it is finished, it included having all the sins of all of mankind being laid upon him as though he were guilty of every one of them. The Bible says, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. It included receiving the full wrath of the Father, rejection by God the Father. Jesus experienced hell in our place. On the cross, Jesus said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It included ensuring eternal life for all who believe in him. And John, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. All of that was the it that Jesus was referring to when he said, It is finished. It was the biggest it in history. And there have been a lot of it's in history. World War I was an it. World War II was an it. 9-11 was an it. COVID was an it. Your personal struggles and heartaches and, and losses are all it's. Some things in life are so painful that we often say, I just don't want to talk about it. We sometimes have trouble getting past it. But the it that Jesus went through for us is finished. It's finished for him, and it's finished for us. Your sins are forgiving, are forgiven. There's nothing more to do. The Bible says, so Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. Amen.